Hey everyone, Ryan here, and welcome to the new m &R vlog. We got a box to open. I'm very excited. Just finished my ATTE <laughs> review. Gotta give this to Lorenzo today, because I don't want it. And uh, yeah, very excited to open this box. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed the vlog, subscribe if you're new here, and let's see what's inside. So for those that don't know, I collect dog food. No, I'm kidding. I collect uh, small Lego Star Wars boxes, and this one is super special for me. It is not in the best condition, but when it comes to small boxes, oh man, you don't really get a choice. This is crazy to see. You have no idea. There's a, a pretty big difference in the size of these boxes. Oh man. And I know literally one other person that collects this sort of thing and that's kind of it. So it's very, uh, very niche, but I love collecting this. This was like a, just during this year or two that they did certain sets, they downsized the box as like tests and they are not very common. They're not very easy to find. Some of which I don't know if they exist or not. Like there's definitely a viewing one I have. That one might exist, small box. Like anything with the cabinet, like those other three sets there, I don't know if they have a small box or not, but I found small box to record a few sets and this is the latest one I found. I'm so stoked about this. My mission for today was to get done with this worst of first all Clone Wars sets. And it has been, I don't know, a drag. I've been working on it for a few hours. I've got 17 minutes of completed stuff um and then i still have all of this audio to edit through with the rest of the sets in order there um yeah it's another hour or so of, of audio there it is yeah we are getting through it though jeez i have finished recording my or editing everything for my clone wars worst to first video in the nick of time vanguard comes out in 20 minutes i was supposed to start streaming at 11:45, uh, so i think i'll be able to hit that Oh boy, is it exciting right now. So that's literally everything. Everything's done. This was an absurd project to make and I am so glad it's done. Been playing some Vanguard game battles with Jared and I just got a beautiful piece of mail here. It's a misprinted episode three Mace Windu. You can see his face is super far down when it's not supposed to be. It's so beautiful. So this is another small box that I've been desperately trying to track down for many, many months, probably probably two years now I've been looking for this. I saw one one time sold and I was so sad that I missed it. It was sealed though. This is not sealed. Um, I wish I could get one sealed. I will still look for one sealed, but this is Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter small box. I am so ecstatic that I found this along with Cad Bane's feet are all in the same week. And I guess the Flipping Starfighter is uh, in there. So yeah, that's awesome. Oh, we got a new TV. I didn't mention that. My parents finally bought a new TV. Our old TV was like 13 years old, way overdue. Uh, but yeah, Patriots game and pizza from the Papa. That's right. Also, I was on the Lego Star Wars subreddit and I love when people come on and they're like, oh wait, which guy, which guy? How, how can you keep a lego box sealed you're supposed to open it how dare you do something not the way that i do it it is the funniest thing every time this guy's collection is beautiful by the way this picture just oh I, man i still want to buy a sealed one of these even though they're really expensive and i don't really need it but i uh, i like having sealed lego sets too like this guy so i kind of want that but yeah um this lego stars reddit is the worst it they are there are some real weird folks there that don't understand having a different point of view I just realized the Lego Titanic comes out tomorrow and not on Tuesday. So I guess I'm pulling an all-nighter so I can go get it in the morning. Not happy about it, but got to do what you got to do. So I just called and they said they will have them, but they don't know how many they will have. The forever and always answer, even though they've probably had them in the back of the store for a few days. And they definitely know how many they have, which is the one thing I hate about Lego stores. But um, yeah, so we're going to get there like two hours early, maybe. I don't know. It's not Star Wars, but it's still the Titanic. So yeah, I don't know. I gotta build these brickheads from, from Timmy. So that'll at least keep me occupied for a couple hours here. And then we'll go from there. It's 3 a.m. Awesome. And I have to wake up in four hours to go by the Titanic. Even more awesome. Not happy about this, like at all. We're going to sleep. See you in the morning. It's 9 a.m. I overslept. I have to call the store. Unbelievable. I cannot believe I've done this. So they said they got about 40 Titanics at the store and that they were there were about eight people in line last she checked. The set is already going for like $1,000 on eBay, which makes me worry that scalpers are gonna be a big problem. Usually they are not, but in this case, I worry they might be. So 
yeah we're gonna give it a go i'm not particularly happy with myself i did only end up with like six hours of sleep because i was up to like 5 a.m working on youtube videos again but um yeah all right i guess i should just stayed up all night god dang it it's currently 9 42 we're probably about 40 minutes away so we'll be there about 25 minutes after it opens or something um I don't have particularly high hopes. My backup plan is to call Legoland or the Lego store in Tampa, preferably I think Legoland, but we'll see um, what kind of luck we get at the store here to begin with. So I should have just pre-ordered it online at midnight. That night I had the chance, it was sitting in my cart and I was like, no, I don't want to spend another $630. Lego doesn't deserve it and they don't, but unfortunately, I don't seem to have much of a choice, so the road ahead is long. We are moments from the moment of truth at Disney Springs Lego store. Will I get screwed? Will I not? Stay to find out. You have to wear a face mask to go in the Lego store and I forgot to bring mine, so I have to buy one now. Amazing. To buy a mask, you have to have a mask prior to buying it but I can walk in the store and nobody says anything to me. But I have to have a mask to buy the mask. Sorry. Unbelievable. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He says they think they might be out. I don't think they're gonna have any. I think I just wasted all my time. At least the Star Wars section looks pretty full. Looks nice. Very unfortunate. So he said they handed out tickets this morning to people and that, you know, there's one left that they haven't had the person come back in for so in 35 minutes or 25 minutes at 11 if they still have it it's mine so that's my only hope right now i forgot about these now i think i want them Definitely gotta get the bat, bat cave for sure. So when you're ready, we'll check you out right over there. Okay, sweet. All right, so John hooked us up with the Titanic. Thank God this was not a wasted trip. You have no idea how much a relief this is. Um, I'm also gonna get the three Batman sets on top of there. The music in this store is really obnoxious right now. But uh, yeah, I might have to make two trips to the car though to, um, to get this. But yeah, we'll roll it on over and check out and be gone. All right. So we've got a couple handles that they taped onto the side to make carrying it a little bit easier because otherwise carrying it is an absolute pain, but that is sweet. And they broke off, amazing. Love to see it, everything fell. Uh-oh. Now it's gonna rip my box. How unfortunate. Great job, Lego. Great job. All right, it was a little bit easier to carry, to be honest. And we are gonna stuff these in and we're going back because Lego is not, you know, the only reason I come to Disney Springs anymore. It just doesn't hit the same with just Lego. We're just going to, going to look for the Black Series. They should have fought first troopers. That's exciting. Hmm. Interesting. Disney exclusive Stormtrooper figure. No, it's all Obi-Wan and Leia and no 501st Troopers. And don't forget Grief Karga. Of course, they have a lot of Grief Kargas. I think Leia is the next Grief Karga. This is unfortunate. I wanted to get this, but the checkout line is literally a mile long. I'm going to look on the other side, but... I'm not waiting 30 minutes to buy this. 
Oh my god, how fortunate is that? By coming back this way, I found this. I guess I have to get this. I guess I'm waiting in line no matter what. I'll get two. Hell yeah, dude. All right, we're gonna check one more Star Wars store before we go for 501st Trooper Black Series. But other than that, we're good. Would it surprise you if I said I expected better than just Creep Cargo? Because I kind of did, but lesson learned. And I don't collect these, they're the tiny ones. Trying to hit the Florida Mall just to see if they have any of the MacBook Pros in stock, because if they do, I'll buy one now. But yeah, I just figured I'd make a quick side trip so thanks to Vision Bricks who showed me this store again. I think I had been there like eight years ago, but he was there not too long ago and he sent me some pictures from there that they were like Black Series and stuff. So it's up here on the left, I think. And I figure while I'm here, may as well. Yeah, it's right there. And that's an old Pizza Hut there, which is where Jared and my mom and I must have eaten because that's where being there and they were doing some like Star Wars Day event because we're here for May 4th, 2013. So that makes sense. All right, we're gonna see if they have any cool black series. I might uh, might budget myself to like 50 bucks, but still wanna check it out. That store is pretty cool. So I found out that the Apple stores don't have any in stock, unfortunately. So uh, we're not even gonna bother going over there, but we will stop in the Best Buy down the street, see if they got any Legos or look at them on display. I guess I failed to mention I did buy a Black Series. I bought a regular phase one trooper. Yay, it's sick. Love it. This is quite a sad Lego selection. It's like barren. They must've had a sale because everything looks like it was on sale. Like it's got red things, so. Maybe that's why, but, ooh, the light. The computer is still beautiful, but they don't have any in stock, so I will continue to wait for my one from apple.com to ship. I, oh man, patience, patience. Well, here's to hoping that this is the back edge of the box, because if it's the front edge of the box, that means I have to do work for my thumbnail for my review, which is gonna suck. But hopefully this is the front of the box. Let's see what we have inside. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. All black boxes. That is very nice. So it looks like these are even numbered one, two, and three. So you can go in order of box, which is really nice. That is a big time saver for having to dig through and find numbered bags. Really appreciate that. So I've been streaming on Twitch and they convinced me after I got done playing Vanguard that I should build my Titanic, which thankfully the box isn't too damaged. Like I had mentioned earlier, ton of bags, obviously. So um, definitely not gonna finish everything in one go here, but may as well be getting started with so much to go and so little time to build it with Sean coming in this weekend. So yeah, definitely not gonna get a lot done, but hopefully good progress. And I set up my live stream for the ATAT -AT reveal. So hopefully we'll get a few thousand viewers on that at 9 a.m. What an ungodly hour. So I decided to stream more Lego Titanic building on Twitch before I played Vanguard. And I was working on the Titanic and I needed another one by four black plate, which is completely missing. And this is completely additional. This clip piece is not part of the build of this like set of bags. I went through, you could see the pieces you need at the top every time. And it's just not, not there. So this piece goes in the extra parts bin, I suppose. And I am out a one by four black plate. I have to find one. It's gonna be about three times as long as that. Yeah, I saw some dude start like unboxing it or something. Oh shit. How much are you? Uh, 250. Oh my god. This is an expensive YouTube video. You said it was a thousand dollar idea. So, Didn't you? yeah, here's a world map. I guess I pay, I'm paying Matthew $250 for having built it. I think I deserve 250. <laughs> this is a 12 hours, $250. Legitimately, 12 hours. That's 20 dollars an hour. Yeah, I know. Why am I paying you $20 an hour to build when I can pay Corey 10? <laughs> Corey would do this, it would take Corey 20 hours to do this. <laughs> like this is, this is genuinely awful. All right, we got the Dave Portnoy Barstool Sports Pizza here. It looks not the greatest, 
We're going to try it, but I'm not, and I don't have particularly high hopes for this. I don't think it's going to be the greatest pizza I've ever had. Not a ton of flop there, which I actually like, but... I mean, it tastes cheap. It tastes like... It literally tastes like it's from, like, CeCe's Pizza. That's what it tastes like. It feels like just pizza you'd get at a buffet. And if that's what you're looking for, great. But, like, meh. Probably not again. So I can get over the 10 minutes in the YouTube video for the sweet ad revenue. I figured I'd vlog exactly, very meticulously, how I sleep. So first off, I have two pillows, right? Put them like that, and then you lay down on them. No, oh, I didn't turn the lights out. So... Oh my god. <laughs>